What's up, y'all? It's your boy DJ Storyteller back again. Sorry I didn't, wasn't able to hit you guys up yesterday with the weekend uh, recap like I normally do on Mondays. But the wife was sick and I wanted to stay home and take care of her. So that's what I did. Um, it was a it was a, uh, a crazy weekend. Uh, started off pretty much Thursday. My wife's car went down. Uh, alternator went out. So we're still being fixed now to, the, to uh, not happen Thursday. And they said it won't be ready till tomorrow. Um, let's see what else happened. Uh, I was able to DJ for all abilities. Well, my son actually was able to DJ for all abilities gala, uh, which I think is pretty is is dope that Newport News Parks and Rec is uh, providing something for the autistic and uh, mentally ill people to do, so they can still feel like they're wanted in society. Because a lot of people just look at them because they have a disability and push them off to the side, and, that, and even though they're they're normal, they're they're still people. They just have, you know, they learn a, a different way and they learn a little slower than some people, but they're still human beings. And it's, these are some of these kids that are great kids or adults or young adults. And it's good to see them and my son do his thing with the music. And they loved it. He kept somebody on the dance floor all night. At least there was at least five people on the dance floor at, uh, at all times while he was playing music. Nobody got off the dance floor or, or nobody the dance floor was never empty even when they were eating they were standing up eating their out their plates and dancing at the same time it's amazing almost made me shed a tear seeing him do do his thing because he's getting better i got to you know got to teach him blends and mixes and stuff like that um and he's working on it so i give him all the kudos and hands down because he's doing what he he's doing beyond what he was supposed to do because people the doctors earlier said you know he's autistic he won't be able to do this and do, and do that but he's functioning, high functioning in society. He has his own job, works for the government, and he DJs on the side with his dad. And I couldn't ask for more than that. Um, so that that's that's a big thing for me, and it just makes my heart grow even more. Because I was honestly thinking about giving up DJing uh, this year, but seeing him uh, do his thing with that, I'm going to start integrating him into other parties so he can do his thing. So people get hyped when he get hyped because he dances to every song that he plays. So, and if you know him, you know that's what he does. And Jalen has always been, uh, aka DJ Fable, has always loved music. Uh, that's how, I, excuse me, that's how I think I got him into speaking because he didn't talk until he was three years old. And uh, I think music contributed to that. But that's neither here nor there. Um, EBR, Everything But Religion podcast, is back this Thursday with a big interview with, from uh, Dante, Deontay, excuse me, from. Uh, Love love after lockup. I think the show was on A and E or W uh, or We TV, one of the two. But uh, if you don't know what the show is, go back and look at it. He's gonna be up here on our platform telling his truths. We got some questions for him. Uh, we might even open up the open up the lines for you know uh, fans to ask questions as well. We will be on live on YouTube, um, Instagram, Facebook. And maybe Twitch, not sure yet. I'm gonna still trying to set that one up to get that streamed at the same time as the rest of them. But we're we're moving in the right direction. This is our first interview of this year, season four starting. Uh, we're gonna be hitting. We're gonna be. You're gonna see us everywhere. Uh, don't forget about Boy Wonder has a uh, showcase Friday at Fort Eustis. Twenty dollars a ticket. Um, I'll try to find that information and leave that up on our social media pages. And you'll be able to see that so you can purchase tickets. I'll be there. So if you see me, definitely come out and say hi. We can take a picture, get you on the on the page and whatnot. Um, yeah, it's just a there's a lot going on, you know. There's a lot a lot a lot going on this weekend. Uh March Madness starts actually tonight with the play in games. Um so I didn't know March Madness started in nineteen thirty nine. With with eight, only eight teams in the tournament. And I believe it was Ohio State and don't don't quote me on this one because I don't remember who played in it. I just know it was 1939. It was the first one. It was March 27th, and it only had eight teams in it. So look at it now. This is big, real big. I'm always into it every year. This year I can get my daughters to fill out brackets so I can you know put their what they pick online. Um, this is a great time, you know. It's a great time of year. We got NBA uh, playoffs heating up or starting to heat up uh, in March Madness. Uh, Hey, this is the time of year if you love sports. Uh, you know, football's not there. But speaking of football, my Pittsburgh Steelers. Everybody know who knows me knows I am a diehard Pittsburgh Steelers fan. I had a tattoo on my shoulder. Um, 
We got two big name quarterbacks this week, Russell Wilson or last week, Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. Uh, I think those are great pickups. Uh, I was kind of leery about the Russell Wilson pickup at first, but I do. Really, yeah, he is a Super Bowl champ quarterback, and uh, he has some skills. You know, he might, might be a little older, and I think Justin Fields can learn a lot from him because they have similar styles as far as they run out the pocket and throw the ball really good. So we'll see. Uh, we lost all of our quarterbacks from the last two years. Kenny Pickett, Mitchell Trubisky, and uh, Mason Rudolph. I think they have all left the team. I know Kenny Pickett was having issues with uh, Russell Wilson being signed, and he uh, apparently said he was not going to be a backup and didn't think that he needed a quarterback competition. And, you know, I, I honestly believe that he needed one more year to prove himself. I mean, he went through uh, Matt Canada, the offensive coordinator, being fired, being there, then being fired, and then bringing in a whole new offensive coordinator. Um, I know Kenny Pickett was only 13, 13 touchdowns, 13 interceptions in two years. He's also not the type to air the ball out like Mason Rudolph did when he came in the game. And uh, hats off to Mason Rudolph. I honestly never had a problem with Mason Rudolph. He just looked crazy the one time when uh, Miles Garrett knocked him out and they kept they took his face mask off but kept his helmet on. He looked crazy at that time. But – it is what it is. But y'all definitely tune in Thursday, 530. You will see DJ Storyteller, your boy Wonder, and Deontay from uh, Love After Lockup. So y'all might want to tune in. We got, you know, stuff is coming up. Uh, don't forget about the, the uh, big Easter egg, Easter hunt or Easter egg hunt extravaganza at Kill Creek Park, March 30th from 11 to 4. You can't, you will see EBR out there. I'll be on the ones and twos, and Boy, Boy Wonder will be on the mic hosting. So, y'all come out there. Come by, say say what's up. But we'll take definitely take pictures. Uh, we might have some free merch to give out. I got some uh, old DJ Storyteller shirts. I might just want to, you know, give out. Um, they're dry fit, too. So, But if you have a time and you're in town, definitely go check out. Come check us out at Kiln Creek Park on March 30th from 11 to 4. There's an adult Easter egg hunt, too. So, don't forget about that. Uh, if you want to purchase tickets, go on my go on our uh, EBR Media and Entertainment page. There's a link up there so you can click. Um, you can purchase tickets, and uh, she's looking for volunteers as well. So if you want to go help out something some, something positive, uh, Lux Events always provides a great uh, scenery and event for everybody for the whole family. So if I could volunteer, I would, but I'm DJing, so it is. It's, there's that. But y'all have a great rest of the week. Stay uh, warm because it's cool this week. And uh, we'll see you Thursday. Peace.